Hello guys, how are you all doing? Um, just thought I'd give you a little look at a really, really cool pickup I got um, back end of the last week. And uh, this is a custom Mogwai. Um, uh, the seller had this listed on eBay and um, they'd not sold any of you on there before. So I was a little bit kind of hesitant and reluctant, but I was so impressed by it from the photos that I, 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 I had to take a chance with it. So, um, I contacted the seller and said, you know, um, could you, firstly, could you wait for payment because I, 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 I was all spent out. And um, she happily said, yeah, that's cool, you know, I'll, I'll keep it a week kind of thing. And um, she sent it out as soon as, uh, I think it was the next day, um, with tracking and everything. And um, uh, like I say, it was just a case of, uh, I, I'd not recognised this before. Like, a, a lot of these kind of custom mogwais, you can kind of... Um, you kind of get to know who's made them or you know if it's mass produced you definitely kind of know um, which one it is and this one I didn't actually recognize it and it was only when I got uh, I got talking to a fellow collector who, who got a couple of um, mogwais on his channel um, or he had one mogwai on there and uh, he recognized it and, and pointed me in the, in the direction of um, this artist Etsy store so I had a little look on there and uh, yeah, she's she's uh, absolutely awesome. Very very talented artist. Makes uh, gremlins and other kind of like um, dolls as well, animals and, and things like that. She's super talented. Really really awesome to deal with. And uh, I said I'd give her a massive shout out on this video because I was really impressed when I opened the box and pulled this little guy out. I just think it's so well made and it looks super super realistic. So, um, yeah, her name is Anna Schultz, 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 um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What I'll do in the um, um, description below, I'll, I'll add her uh, contact details on Etsy. I, I do believe she's got another one on there, um, and she did say to me she's going to be, be, be making um, other grooming dolls, so um, if you are interested definitely get into contact with her because I highly recommend this this is actually really really well made like I say it's a custom piece all handmade um, I think it's actually on a, like a wire frame so you can actually um, manipulate and bend the arms and legs and fingers as well which is really cool um, the, the legs are kind of like on a swivel so they both kind of move at the same time and they won't actually hold the doll up so if you did want to stand this I think it's actually been kind of made to sit down but if you wanted to kind of stand it you would need to get some sort of um, figure stand I did look at the uh, one six scale figure stands and they're just a little bit too big so um, you, you, you'd probably need something like a seven inch um, uh, figure stand maybe like a necker stand or something like that uh, I, I might get one of those clear necker stands uh, to sit him up, um, stand him up, should I say? Um, you know, if I want to sort of go down that road, I've got another cool little idea which I've I've been looking into, but it's, it's proven to be a bit difficult at the moment. And that is the Barbie car. Um, I've had a look on eBay, but that that particular car that's in the film is is quite tricky to get hold of at the moment. So um, I'll, I'll keep an eye out on that. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd look pretty cool with the. Uh, the pink Barbie car, so that might be a little project um, further on down the road. But let's have a little look at him. Um, what I really like about this, the fur is really nice, but um, the thing that really impressed me was that she's actually included glass eyes on this doll. So the eyes are not plastic or, or acrylic or anything like that. They're glass eyes and they're super alive. They look really, really awesome. You know, really reflective, and they just, like I say, they it it, it just brings so much kind of life to the uh, to the gizmo, and also as well, kind of like the Medicom, she's actually added, if I can focus, the eyelashes as well, which is a really nice touch. It's subtle, but again, it just adds to that kind of uh, the realism. Um, so let's uh, pick him up. They have some really nice tonal scales, um, some really nice sort of flesh tones on the underside of the ears. 
you know, she's not Mr. Trick here. She really has gone all out, painted it well. You know, it's really well put together. It just looks super cool. Really, really impressed with this. In terms of the uh, accessories that you see here, the glasses I did myself, uh, kind of like the Medicon version. Um, they're just cheap on eBay. Obviously the glass of water, just a, just a cool little touch I thought. And these, I thought, um, you know, like the, uh, the eggs, um, I thought I'd get these. These are basically um, key rings that, um, that women kind of uh, put them on their handbags on a little chain. So I managed to disconnect the actual uh, chain and I thought they kind of looked, they kind of looked like, um, you know, like kind of like what Medicom did. But I thought I'd throw a black one in there as well just to, you know, I thought it was a, a nice little touch. But uh, it is a really, really cool doll. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I'm a big Gremlins fan. I kind of grew up watching the Gremlins. Um, a lot of my collection is sort of based on a lot of, you know, 80s and 90s, 90s films. So, you know, I had to, I wanted to get another Gremlin because I sold my June Planning ones. This is way above uh, the June Planning doll I had. It looks so much better. Um, and I was going to get the Medicom, but it's, it is big, big money. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm more than happy with this. I think this is like seriously good. And I, I paid that. She, she, she sells these for $150 on uh, Etsy. I got it for a little bit less because it was on offers on eBay. So I think I paid about $120, which is around 80 quid, 85 quid. Um, for the money, uh, it's no brainer. It just It's well worth the money. Absolutely. I mean, just look at it. I think that's well worth the money. Really, really awesome. And also as well... Um, I, there was another little package in the box, and I, I had no clue what it was. I thought, what's this? And she even threw in a, a free gift um, of this little guy, and it's a, a little wolf that she's actually handmade. Again, it's kind of like on a wire frame, so you can kind of pose and bend the arms and tail and stuff. Really, really it's, it's, you know, just a really nice touch. Um, you can see there, Anna, and a little wolf. So yeah, got that for absolutely nothing. Just a just a quality seller. Highly recommend her. She's very talented. Um, and uh, if if you do get one of her gremlins, she did say she's going to be making some more. So um, uh, she did have a, uh, a spike uh, on eBay listed. So I, I I might go for that as well because I'm I'm really impressed with um, what she's done with this one. And I think they're very reasonably priced. So. Yeah, highly recommend her. Really, really awesome seller. Very talented. And um, yeah, absolutely love this. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd give you a little look at that one. Um, I've got another really cool prop that's coming, so um, I'll be doing a video on that soon. And um, yeah, a couple other little bits on the way or in the pipeline, so to speak. So. Keep a lookout for those, stay tuned, and um, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later.